The Royal Bank of Canada, this is Sherry Veronica, the Royal Bank of Canada on Friday appointed Catherine Gibson. Why they decided to part ways or following the departure of Nadine on. She was the CFO, the Chief Financial Officer, and they said that they heard rumors of her in a relationship with someone who also works in the bank, bank Royal Bank of Canada. And they did their investigations. I don't know if they had someone follow her and the person and they went into the same apartment building or they were in the same home, cars parked in the same parking space, you know, in the parking, you know, you, you have a, um, a garage or you have a parking space outside your house. I don't know if that is what they saw when they did their investigations, but, but she is gone and she is saying that the employee got preferential treatment i mean please 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 barbadians are you watching this okay they got preferential treatment this person this employee including a promotion and compensation i guess the compensation was not warranted but yeah she is gone royal bank of canada fires cfo over undisclosed relationship now i guess it went against their rules okay because usually you don't have to disclose a relationship this is her hair this is her hair. Usually, you don't have to disclose who you invite into your home. You, you don't usually, but they have a policy against um, fraternization, you know, like the boss and the, and the underling, like you're the, well, she would be the head, the top CFO, and then the person would have been a junior or a subordinate. That's the word that they use when it comes to employment, subordinate. So they have rules against that, but that happens a lot a lot on your island and you know it you know it this is sherry veronica